how you can go there to find uh, information that your teachers need you to find, your email, um, and different things about the site. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And once there, I'm going to go to our district website. Now you can go to our Benton website from there. So I'm going to go to www.sjsd.k12.no.us. And then you can select Benton from that pull down menu. Or another easier way to get to this site is to just type in www.bentoncardinals.org and that also directs you directly to the Benton website. So once you're here, you can see there's several different things that should be helpful to you as a student at Benton. The first thing I want to show you is how to uh, access websites you are already currently using from your teachers. Okay, so again, I'm going to show you two ways to access your teachers. First, you can just hit Staff. And once there, you can see that you have a list of all of your teachers that are um, potentially your teachers for your course. Okay, another easy way to do it is if I'm just on our site, instead of having Benton as my last little word after that dash, I can actually put in um, your teacher's name. You have to know their first and last name. But that should take you right to that teacher site. Okay, so once you are on your teacher site, um, you may want to access websites you are currently using. And this new website shouldn't change that. What should happen is your instructor should have a link for that website. So for example, Coach Mosser was using Canvas with his classes. So if you go to his site, you can see if you just click Marketing 1 here, it takes you directly to the site that he was using prior, uh, Canvas. Similarly, if you have Coach Dial for your teacher um, and you're using his website, instead of it being over on the left, you can see it's just on his homepage. So there's Coach Dial's email and there is his website. And you can just click that. And I'll take you to the website he was using before. Um, one last example of that. If you go to Mrs. Nash's website, you can see that this was embedded a little bit, so you have to click on the zoology resources, and then if you're going to the zoology network, you would click there. Or if you're going to the zoology wiki, you would click there. So it's very easy to get around the site and pretty simple, um, especially if you just want to access some of those resources. Something you else you might use while on the site is your uh, student email. You'll probably be using that a lot this year, especially now that everybody has their laptops. So to get to your email, probably the easiest way is to go to resources and then go to students. Okay, then once you're there, you'll find that we have a link to this Google Apps for Students right here, and you can click that. And that will take you to Google Docs, to your email, etc. So when you type in your username, if I'm putting it in, I would just put in Aaron.nash, and then it fills in the at students for me. And then your password should be your last name and your student ID. So mine would be Nash and my student ID. And then you should be able to click sign in and that should take you to your website, to Google Docs, etc. So those are a couple of the things that you might need to use while using our new website. Um, and there's several other things here as well.